I had a weakness in biology because I just couldn't seem to understand it. Before, I used to get 40 out of 100, and this really bothered me. So then, program was held in my school, and then they introduced this Nigerian learning passport. When I heard about it, I went to go and uh, check it on Play Store, and then I started learning. Then when I come back from school, all the topics we've done in biology, I'll come and check it on the Nigerian learning passport. I didn't say about Nigerian learning passports when I was in SS1. So I got A1 in physics. That was first time in SS1. Since then, I couldn't make it to A1 again. That's like getting C5, 60 something. I used the learning passports the night before the exam. And the last thing I touched on the learning passports, the Nigerian learning passports was parallelogram law vector. And that thing, I didn't even know it before. So I was happy I did it in the exam. When I got to my told my dad that I have confidence that I'm going to get A1. And I collected my results for second time. I got um, the highest score in physics, which is 80 over 100 A1. Nigeria Learning Passport uh, is a, a learning platform designed by federal government in partnership with UNICEF, which is meant to address the issue of uh, out of school syndrome and also to serve as a platform that whereby teachers and students can use uh, to assist in the present confessional way of uh, impacting knowledge. What the Nigerian Learning Passport has come to do is to bridge the gap whereby teaching and learning can continue outside school where students are at home, they can learn at their own time, at their own pace, they can learn. And this learning passport is targeted towards the learners who are the students. It is targeted towards the educators who are the teachers, targeted towards the parents and the community at large. So when I started using the Nigerian learning passport and um, I started listening to the teachers, I became well versed in biology more than I was before. Uh, Several Minutes of Education. Uh, launched the Nigeria Learning Passport with support from UNICEF and Microsoft in 2022 and also in Lagos. Uh, it involves a lot of uh, various teacher capacity development in which uh, about 30,000 teachers across Nigeria were trained uh, on how to use the platform itself and also uh, students were oriented. Ever since I got to know Nigeria Learning Passport, my teaching methodology has changed. And there is one particular aspect on needs fed simulation whereby so student don't needs to go into the um, laboratory to perform experiments. So this platform creates an enabling environment for them to see what uh, we're thinking that it is abstract. So when you get familiar with it, it is actually real. You see it so you can perform experiments even without going to the lab. It has really helped a lot. It summarizes all the old subjects, everything that you want to learn. You don't need to go to YouTube or looking for any apps on Play Store. All you need is just this Nigeria Learning Passport. And then you can see so many subjects, videos that you could have watched on YouTube. And also it's free for those that are using ETEL.